What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about the future of the Alien franchise, the upcoming Fetty Alvarez project to be more specific. We'll be talking about the potential revival of the Poltergeist series. And then we'll round it out by talking about this latest rumor surrounding the upcoming Maxine trilogy. Closer for the X trilogy that we know is coming from Ty West. So starting off with Scream 7. Scream 7 might be deep in writing, already be deep in writing according to viewer Non. When chatting on Reddit, the trusted viewer Non said that they had heard that they were writing Scream 7 already. However, me personally, I think that they are preparing two drafts, and I'll explain why. Viewer Non also said Sydney not returning in Scream 7 could happen because of the fact that they heard Spyglass might be upset about Nev's comments to paint them as sexist. So I think what the problem might be stemming from, from what viewer non is saying is Spyglass was willing to meet her pay request and she still turned the project down. This being scream six. And then of course, continue to talk about them in the press. So why would Spyglass be mad? Well, here's the thing. And this is the perspective I was trying to get people to kind of consider. If you never intended to be sexist and thought you were being reasonable in what you were offering her, why would you not be mad when you then try to fix the error that she thinks you've made and still continues to talk negatively about you? Of course they're upset. Viewer non clarified that they heard this from friends who know Matt and Tyler, of course, that's radio silence. They did point out, even if it was true then, that doesn't mean that she still can't return now, and that's also true. I just think that all of this could have been avoided if you didn't try to include her in Scream 6 anyway, because I firmly believe that there was never a real intent to have her in Scream 6 until Spyglass tried to push for it, ultimately then botching to secure her, and then they still went ahead and did the Sydney-less version they wanted to do anyway. I think creatively they always wanted to have her back in Scream 7, but that might be ruined now, or couldn't be, but we'll see. I'm prepared for whatever iteration of Scream 7 we get at this point. Uh, I'm ready for the franchise to kind of round itself out, take a break before you can revive it later, years later, and maybe focus on Sydney's kids. Jumping into the Alien topic, we know Evil Dead and Don't Breathe director Fetty Alvarez is going to be writing and directing a brand new Alien movie. The project is supposed to start filming this month, I believe, out in Budapest. We know Kaylee Spaney will lead the project, and recently the Hollywood Reporter revealed some casting updates. Isabella Merced, or, or McCade, Merced, David Johnson, Archie Renox, Spike Fern, and Eileen Wu have signed on to the project. The report included this, this brief plot detail. In this ninth entry in the immensely popular and enduring film series, a group of young people on a distant world find themselves in a confrontation with the most terrifying life form in the universe. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. Are you excited for the upcoming Alien Project? Let me know down in the comment section below. What is your favorite entry in the series so far? Do you have any high hopes at all for this upcoming project? I know many people are big fans of Fetty Alvarez and what he did with the Evil Dead Project. Also, of course, what he did with Don't Breathe. So I myself am looking forward to what he can do with the Alien franchise. Personally, my favorite of the series still is the second one, Aliens. Uh... I just love the original. I love I, I love a lot of Ridley Scott projects, honestly. But I am intrigued to see what Fetty Alvarez can do. I believe Ridley Scott is still involved with this in a producer capacity or pro production capacity, maybe executive producing, but he's not he's not directing it because we know again Fetty Alvarez will be doing it. So you guys let me know what you think your thoughts are on this upcoming project from the Alien series down in the comment section below. We're gonna jump into the next topic here to talk about. Poltergeist, a Poltergeist revival could be on our way. Poltergeist, the series could be back soon, according to a report from Bloody Disgusting. Now, this is coming from Jeff S Jeff Snyder or Sneeder, who is a reliable entertainment journalist. He said all of this stuff is so up in the air. This again is coming from Jeff Snyder or Sneeder via the Hot Mic podcast. Bloody Disgusting reported on it. He went on to say, what do we have here in MGM? What do we want to do with it? And how do we want to do it? Because remember, they just recently acquired, Amazon recently just acquired the, the MGM property. So while no additional details on the series revival were revealed, Snyder revealed that Poltergeist was one of MGM's biggest properties that Amazon is prioritizing. With Steven Spielberg, the original film's producer, likely needing to be involved with the project. I will say this, I adore those first three movies, but recognize that each one got worse 
or more worse than the last like it progressively got worse similar to how i guess you compare it to jeepers creepers which is also owned by amazon now since that's an mgm project as well as for what i would do with this revival just take the straight to sequel approach you don't even have to do a recall i mean if you want to you can literally ignore those second and third movies if you want to the first one is still regarded as a classic you have fans of the second and third one like myself I wouldn't be upset if you took the requel approach, but I think you should just do a straightforward sequel. Bring back Carol Ann. Of course, she needs to be an adult. Uh, we know Heather O'Rourke, or unfortunately, will not get to reprise the role. May her soul rest in peace. Give he give Carol Ann a family. Set it however many years later after Poltergeist 3. It would be necessary for her to be a grown-up adult. Focus on her and her kids who could get taken into that... Uh, is there even a place they call that realm? <laughs> she, their, her kids can get taken by the return of Reverend Henry Kane, and you can just have a story that's set, set like that. Because I think that there were actually rumors of a fourth movie sparking all throughout the 2000s, but nothing ever, of course, came to fruition. We did get a remake, but that's what I would prefer to see if this series actually ends up being revived. I do want to round this out by talking about Maxine. So there is a rumor going around that Kevin Bacon, Helena Carter, and Halsey have joined Maxine, but none of the regular mainstream headlines have picked this up as official. I will say that I think Kevin Bacon would be a great thing to see in the trilogy closer to the X universe, but again, none of this has been confirmed. You guys can let me know if you would be excited about any of these people being involved with the Maxine project. Ty West recently said this about Maxine the Bloody Disgusting. To round out the whole thing, Maxine as a sequel to X is fine. Maxine as part of a trilogy is infinitely more interesting. So that was part of the overall concept. I think what will be fun in Maxine, I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but what's fun is it's an evolution of the character in the way you met Pearl in X, but then you got Got to know a different role or side of her in Pearl. Yes, you have met Maxine, which we did. We met her in X, but it's a continuation of Maxine. She's at a very different point in her life. It's going to be an interesting thing to catch up with her when we do and to see Mia Goth in yet another way. So it sounds like we're going to see how the events of X have impacted the character of Maxine and how her aspirations to, you know, be in this industry that she wants to be in has impacted her. Uh, I'm expecting this movie to commentate on the adult entertainment industry. I really am. And I do see Maxine, of course, becoming a killer, similar to how Pearl became a killer. She probably is not going to have much success, potentially. That could be an angle they go with, and that leads to her becoming a killer. You guys should let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, and let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.